today we're going to take a look at creating a distribution list which um, a distribution list is like a mail list it's a group of contacts um, that are pulled together into one group um, much like all staff email which um, allows you to send it to one address and it goes out to many addresses so the first thing you do in Outlook is look for the address book icon um, which looks like that and if you hover your cursor over it, these icons they'll tell you what they are um, click the address book and then next you want to right hand click in an empty space and click on new entry once you've clicked new entry you want to select new distribution list and select ok and that will pop up this window so this is your, your new distribution list um, first thing you want to do is give it a name so you type a name in there and so that's going to be the name of your group that you type when you want to send out an email to that group and then we need to add um, new members to the group so you click on add new type in the name of the person you want to add to the group press OK and again for a new person you can also if it's a brand new email address that you've not used before um, for a contact you've, um, you can tick the box down here add to contacts which this will add that email address to your address book and um, press OK Um, once you're finished with adding all, all your different contacts um, you press save and close just a quick note if there's if you don't want to add in all your people um, manually if you've already got them in your address book you can go to select members and um, global address list um, shows all the contacts in, in the school um, but you can also um, select the drop down menu there and click on contacts and this will be um, your own sort of contact address book where you can select members and um, import them into there and press OK anyway when you're done with the distribution list press save and close close your address book and then in future when you want to send an email to that group of people um, you would open up new email and then you want to type the name of the distribution list so in this case it was technical team and we send out the email to technical team and there you go that's come through that's how to create a distribution list.